name is Chen Jie. I'm from China, and you can call me Jamila. Jamila is an Arabic name. Saudi Arabia is the first country where I have been came to stay overseas, and my real name Jie is a little bit difficult to be pronounced out. So I, uh, people always call me Jamila, Jamila, Jamila. But it's it's good. I like it. I came here uh, originally is because of my work. My ex company uh, assigned me came to Saudi to work in Saudi because my ex company is Chinese company. And definitely before I came here, came to a new country, I was searched a lot of information online. But uh, at that time, 2019, is a little bit difficult to find out any uh, new latest uh, news. All is old news and very scared news, but and uh, and also all uh, all my friends uh, and family uh, told me don't go there. It's not suitable for a girl or not suitable for you to. Uh, so, but however, I came here. But uh, since 2019 and until now, I already stay here for almost four years. Definitely, I enjoy the, enjoy the time to stay here because uh, the people here uh, is very friendly and also two countries' culture is a little bit similar. That is very, also very important. The first uh, impression of, my, of Saudi Arabia when I arrived here, definitely the temperature is very high and the weather is very dry. Riyadh now, now, now what I feel is very zahma, it's very crowded, go to everywhere, it's very crowded, a lot of cars and a lot of people. But I feel this is good because uh, what the imagination of me re regarding the Saudi Arabia is attracting. The country is attracting people came to here. And uh, not only the country and also the people stay here, it's attracting people welcome to Saudi. Around Riyadh, there have a lot of desert, and Riyadh is living in desert. The first year when I came to Saudi, definitely everyone will go to try to experience what the real desert looks like and what the real desert, what we can do in the desert. So uh, as a tourist, the first year, so I visit desert, but I never have the experience living in desert. So this year, one of my wish list is to experience was the life living desert, at least for one day, one night or two night. I have been travel Saudi Arabia almost all destination in visit Saudi because you know Ministry of Tourists of Saudi Arabia have a tourist video is named is named Visit Saudi. So there have the Alula, Tabuk, Neum, and uh, Fifa Mountain, Apa, Riyadh. Yeah, all those places already finished. The top Two, I can choose Alula and Fifa Mountain. The first one is Alula. Alula is, is the first place uh, I visit. I can enjoy the real Saudi culture. That is very special one. And also, I, before I visit Alula, I also visit Jordan.
they have the same mountain and same uh, same geography. And the second one is FIFA. So Saudi not only have desert, but also have the mountain, the green land. So it's really nice there. Is And also that, uh, that sense also let me to remember my time in China, because in China we have the similar sense. Regarding the Saudi culture, the, especially the historical uh, part, what I most like is the Leia. Before, the Leia always construction and never opened. 2022, it just opened and I can visit inside. Before 2022, each year I will go there several times. There have the high tower, you can stand in the high tower to see the whole Dalaya's uh, the, the future, uh, the future. So it's really nice and a very quiet place. It's very special. From the first part, you can uh, say the entertainment life in Saudi is better and better. For example, red season. The first year I came to, uh, I, I stay in Saudi is 2019. Uh, is a for also the first year start red season. At that time, just the. Uh, a lake around the lake have several restaurants. And 2020, 20, uh, because COVID stopped one year, and 2021, uh, Saudi bring a lot of big screen. Those screen also the supplier is from China. Uh, look look like more fancy. When you enter Rasazin Boulevard, Boulevard, you do not feel you are staying in Saudi. And uh, last year, 2022, Rasazin expand more. They when our world came to Saudi. Before I visit Riyadh uh, Boulevard, uh, Boulevard World, uh, I just uh, think maybe just the, a demo of, of the each country. But uh, real, when I enter the real Boulevard World, it's really amazing. So it's really nice.
my week is very zahama, it's very crowded. Every week I have different plan, go to a different place because we are season have a lot of activities. Last week I just uh, visit Noor Riyadh, it's a light show. It's very, let me to feel Saudi Israel, Israel changing because what? Before I never can sell some arty artwork in Saudi, but now you can go through, you can throw Noor Riyadh to enjoy the, the latest the art and also I think the young people can also enjoy uh, such art to get more philosophy from the art. It's also a way of changing people's life. I like bring my own stuff to, especially the calligraphy of from Chinese traditional Chinese writing. Go to the coffee shop to practice, and also one of my friend as a volunteer to teach my Arabic come to visit me. Yeah, so such time let me to feel I really like Saudi life because Europe. Before I came to Saudi, I stay I stay in Beijing, the capital city of China. People most of the time just enjoy joy on work do not have the such lighter time to to do your own 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 stuff and uh, come to visit your friend hello Hello, welcome to my gallery. Shukran, Shukran. It's very nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I hope uh, you can enjoy the tour, looking around and enjoying this uh, contemporary collection yeah. from Egypt. Oh, shukran, shukran. And uh, I'd like you to have your time and then Saif will be with you mm. if you have any queries and to have a nice conversation. Mala shukran, this is really nice. I like it. Yeah. Most welcome. Okay. And also, the Saudi one of the representative of Saudi culture uh, is an uh, artist. So I also uh, like to visit some museum and some uh, art gallery uh, during my free time because through those art gallery, I can feel the young generations and what will happen and people start in Saudi Arabia. So in uh, recently I went to Ahlam Art Gallery and also I meet, luckily, lucky for me, I meet Dr. Ahlam. So she introduced me uh, the, the art gallery's his, historical and also the philosophy about each, uh, each painting's backstory. So it's really nice. Actually, this gallery, most of the painting is from Egypt. So, but I found two paint is from the local Saudi woman, is Dr. Ahlam, because uh, one of the painting is paint about the woman drive the car. It's really memorable and a really uh, inspiration to show Saudi is changing using such art way to express. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. My name is Saif Youssef, I'm the art gallery manager. Oh, very nice to know you. Thank you, welcome yeah. to our art gallery. Flyer. <laughs> <laughs> so just to give you a little bit of history. Yeah, please. Um, Saudi Arabia has undergone some major societal changes yeah, in the last five to ten years. Mm. 
And um, as you can see, we're meeting our full potential yes. lately yeah. um, because of this. And as you can see, this in the Blossom Art City. Mm, yes. So now we're doing a exhibition with um, one of the biggest art galleries in the Middle East. In the Middle East? Yes, Lola? correct. Oh. And the biggest gallery in Egypt called uh, Picasso East Gallery. Oh, from Egypt? Yes, correct. Okay. So the idea is to have some cultural exchange between both Saudi Arabia and Egypt. This was Dr. Ahlam's one of one of her most famous uh, series mm. when she began the gallery, and it's um, basically showing um, the celebration when women were given the right to drive. Yeah, and it's shown in a very positive light to celebrate and um, you know show that. Uh, it's it's a beautiful time. Yeah, because Arabia. I came to Saudi as 2019. I think from 2019, the the girls come out come come out can drive the car, mm -hmm. and now the drive school is very zahma, very crowded. <laughs> a lot of girls want to have want to know how to drive the car. Right. Yeah, it's great. I start to practice guitar and I will use uh, my, my spare time to read what I want. And recently, uh, two, uh, three weeks ago, I came back from China in the airport. I buy a lot of uh, books, in, uh, Chinese books, so that it's easy for me to read on that. And also most important, badminton is a good, great social way and uh, uh, to do the physical uh, practice. Actually, I'm not a good cooker. Uh, I'm a very professional cooker. So I start from learn from online how to cook and uh, buy some spicy spices from the market and starting try to cook. But cook is also a best way to uh, consume your time and also stay with yourself.
the most uh, things I will miss if one day I left from Saudi is uh, hospitality in here. Because during, uh, due to my work reason, I have to always traveling to different places. But uh, to be honest, the hospitality in Saudi will be the ahla, the best one I experienced. That one of the reason led me to stay here for four years, maybe more long time. Hello, I'm Chen Jie. I'm now in Saudi Arabia. I hope everyone can have a chance to visit Saudi Arabia.